By the way, quickly, the bands. I have a strong dislike for Mystical's ban. We're not seeing Vijam on okay. Magpie's side, sadly. And Mystical's Nature's Gift list has been banned. But we're going into game one here. Mystical's lined pockets on blue coin against Magpie's Warriors on red coin. Okay, so my day is officially ruined now. Me we are too. not seeing uh, V, so how, how do we protest against that? We just go mute. We stop casting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs> Fine, please. <laughs> um, uh, okay, but now Mystical managed to find Madame uh, into his starting hand, but maybe or being on uh, blue coin against uh, Skellige that wants to play its uh, high, uh, high land warlords. Maybe you just don't have to. But we see that the warlords are kind of hiding at the moment. There is not even a Bob Yorn yeah. or Blood Eagle uh, to bring one of them to the battlefield. Not... Yeah, so these raids are going to be pretty sad. Though we do see kind of slow development of just the two Oxenfurt gods here. There is an open sesame as well as double. Um, Shady Bender, which can be quite nice here to get a bit of carry of herself for Mystical. Um. Um, do we see Wender here into some clicking? Looks like it. So, ah, we don't see. We don't see the thing, and I also don't think there were any tags because those are just humans. And soldiers, so a little bit of spending, not much tempo from Skerige. Yeah, so I think this is more setting up the second shape. Blood! The... Or not. Okay, yeah. Open Sesame is fine here as well. Yeah. Possibly just trying to save the extra charges on the King of Beggars by not playing the Shady Vendor right now. Not the biggest of the point gaps, but looking at Magpie's hand, well, there are no dead blows for the Savagery, nothing for War of Plants, yeah. You see the pass. Yeah. Kinda of need a different kind of hand for this to be a competitive round one. And yeah, that's that's the point I've been making. You don't have to oh I find Marquis Serenity, I slam it immediately, put it in. Now you just have to avoid the breaking and we see <laughs> we see the bricks coming. Okay, KOB as well. There is only one peaches. Caught in the deck, but two breaks uh, have been avoided. So I wonder if we'll see a proper bleed coming. I mean, there's basically no reason not to just at least play the Novigrad and the um, Candle here. You do have them in hand. Finally, a Warlord getting played for Magpie. Does have the Vabjorn to get Blood Eagle into the second Warlord. But in particular, because this is a list that even runs Frey's Blessing, to not have the Warlords played round one, it's very very sad. So, yeah, you can, have a great phrase blessing. You can play. So, yeah, we see the leader charge because otherwise the blood eagle had no target to be triggered on. So we see that one leader charge is being sacrificed for that purpose here. So no unit attempt from mystical going into the pass, but. Uh, Patricidal Fury has a couple of tricks for that. So now, yeah, now you just need uh, that Bloodthirst or so far activated somewhere, but you also have Fire Troll there if uh, if you're failing. And finds the Fire Troll there. Yeah, so, okay, uh... break into break and drum roll. No. No KOB and the last Marigans. So. Uh, 
crisis, a crisis yeah, averted? Is... Look, but there, there is bank, but you have to choose between either getting Bird or Azar Shavad. Um, yeah. Pretty rough choice. I wonder if- is this just Brawler straight up? <coughs> Seems kind of decent. Uh, so the Blood Eagle de deals 4 damage, uh, Slasher start at 6 and Worth Glance uh, is at 4 as well, but uh, you'd want a better War of Glance because there are only Brock Bar Warriors available. Yeah. First we see... wait, what? Yeah, we see the Novigrad just gets a spender. Huh? A spender that uh, also is annoying to to your blood blotter's chances. Plus, there are coins. Let's see if anything gets spent uh, by candle or black me or oh. the blacksmith to try and protect uh, the slicer. I would have liked one buff on slicer actress. But I don't think it matters much because if we are talking War of Clans and uh, the warrior, it would have been finished off anyway. Another month's coin gone in an instant. Could very well, I think, use a couple candle charges to get this uh, townsfolk or Sash currently would deal eight damage with the bloodthirst too. So, with the passive tick here, you would be able to get it, the Townsfolk out of range of a Slash. <sighs> yeah, you, you have a lot of control options, uh, but uh, it all takes time to answer. And there are, there are big boys and girls like Uxora and Shippa potentially come in later for you. But yeah, as you mentioned, the lack of uh, Azar is somewhat troubling. So, no more Townsfolk. They challenged uh, a wrong son of a god. Didn't yeah, really. they can't stand up to the master of Unskellig. I would still two spenders on board. You have in addition the Banacle Brawler and the Oxen Fur Guard, which can be played from hand. Potentially a high roll into a spender with the Shady Fender as well, if you get lucky. Uh do you heat wave this? I mean we know. Okay, let's see if he's going for a roll. Uh, no. Like spend faster. If if we are going for no, we're not going for the spend. We're just activating just... the engine. I was thinking, are we really going for like thirty two percent? It looks like not, but that kind of allows. Yeah, so... mm. You could, look, you could answer this with the uh, champion's charge and the full leader, but that does mean that the following turn the blacksmith can just boost all the deafening sirens to two, and uh, would make the serve quite difficult to establish at that point. This might just be... A lot of cards uh, getting played here. Ah, no, nice. Rain is just finishing it off. But we also see that Mystical is not uh, not thinking for too long. Just buff, buffing the Sirens immediately. There is also no card roll per Clash available anymore. Yeah, so now you can, with the... Uh... 
Leadergorn, you know that they can't establish bloodthirst quickly all at once, so you can just boost the boat up to high heavens. Finally get your third Warlord proc this game. But, uh, uh yeah. So, for yourself you need uh, a space on the front row. You need bloodthirst. You need bloodthirst for the champions charge as well. All sorts of trouble for Skelligers. They came into the into the wrong port, looks like. Yeah, like yeah, using the full leader front row was nice to get the kill onto the Xora with the rain. But it does mean that your so is uh, looking quite sad here. Pretty nice roll. Thunder in street urchins, get a few more coins to keep your vice shenanigans going. Also funny to see that uh, yeah that tier is just just cheating on the board. Yeah. Double in value, but sadly for him he is uh, yeah. double in value of like two point units quite often. <laughs> So, not that um, big of a I think Mystical did a very, very good job with the read that I don't need to heat wave this tier. Because um, uh, there's only so many resurrections. Even the phrase blessing, actually, you got saw, got put into the graveyard with the tier, so didn't need to worry about that. Misses an open sesame. I don't think you have the salamandras to get two mutagens here. Because as I was not played, obviously, just to go for the extra coinage. And um, protects. Kills, sure. Okay, front row stacked once once again. Yeah. And the we see the perfect. Yeah. So, Mystical takes uh, the lead in this semi final number one. Yeah. And now would have been a time where we potentially would have seen V if it wasn't a band. Yeah. Yeah. So the now, only reason you were able to convince me to do this was to, so that I would have a chance to see V, but... Yeah. Metal, talk to your crushed. players. What the actual hell? <laughs> Can I? Yeah. The Gwent World Cup. Keep up with the Gwent News and Metals Twitter for the announcements regarding that. Okay, so, we see Magpie taking Warriors on Blue versus Mysticals Assimilate. Huh. Not exactly what we, well, at least I yeah. was expecting. Yeah. I mean, Simulate doesn't have as strong of a round one as some of the other lists in the meta right now. So, this isn't... like, this should be fine. Um, yeah. Double Warlord. Impressive. <laughs> Only one walk away from this. Yeah, so I guess Magpie has learned from his mistakes last game and uh, has learned that you want to draw your warlords round one. I wonder if we'll I see Fall City in round one, stops. knowing that there is uh, a Swole Blood Butcher, Butcher and also Kyrk Troll there available for her clashing and potentially yeah. dying. You might just get it out of your system as soon as possible. For that, of course, you'd need a tactic in the graveyard. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. And uh, I think you'll find to basically go as tall as you want on just one unit here. Because as long as you don't play that many other units, you're not giving a chance to get the Bud Test 3 for the Champion's Charge. Well, oh, this is fine, I guess. Priest is a 4, kind of immediately, but if it gets killed it's not great, so you just take the more solid 6. And this Bloodthirst could be denied if you do decide to play this full Siri out. 
Yeah, I think Force Siri looks very, very good here. Because you do have the second Brujo in hand. We just see a coup from down. Able to just stay in striking distance here quite nicely. Yep, so no rush on that. Why did I say striking distance? Oh. Uh, nice. It's fine. Shield nice. Bleeding. I love those awkward, not even awkward, but uh, non-committal rounds where people are just uh, yeah. throwing cheap tactics, cheap raid cards left and right. The carryover is being played by warlords, uh, Calvit. Not uh, no engines, not really like, big cards being thrown at the board. Um, just fast gameplay as well. Now, okay, well, yeah. yeah. Now we're at a little bit more of the tail end, or you need to more careful to consider what cards you're happy to play here. Uh, how much reach you're going to be able to maintain. I really do wonder if you had played the full series earlier in this round, would you have just been able to win on even um, as or mystical? Or surpass, maybe, or a good card. Yeah. He keeps, by the looks of it, he keeps the full series. Or takes his time, just thinking of uh, over, but I don't that the Buchwort was already highlighted, so that he just uh, tries to go with, through with it. Mm. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. That's... an engine thrown away. Get some spine yeah. on, of course. I'm not sure. Yeah, that, yeah that spine seems fairly usable. Get it? Mm, yes. Chant, get, do, Chant, do you get, get it? it? Um... <laughs> It's amazing. Sir. It's amazing casting. Some glint. <laughs> and I was going to follow it up with a bit of more strategic talk in that this Bruja is being kept quite purposefully here by Mystical, which does signal um, wanting to try and get by the art of the Force series in this round three. Does opt to properly play it and um, Try to get value out of it, but yeah, we do see this location coming down, so I'm not so sure it will be all sunshine and rainbows for the full series to go through here. Maybe and just get smarigant. I feel weird considering you catch the Bruja yeah. over the Mage Torture. <laughs> True. Ah, Bobjorn joining the party at the last moment. Uh... Without a uh, party without Fukushia, though. Yeah. But uh, missing Fukushia isn't the worst, because uh, it's not great in this matchup. If the uh, simulator is able to put spying on Fukushia, then you're in for quite a sad time. So, raid cards uh, above by three. There is still tier. Picking up uh, either great sword or well, yeah, there are targets, and this uh, experimental remedy cannot deny all of them. So one, two, there are like two, three pickups, and that should be fine. Although there are only two for provision warriors in the graveyard, so maybe. If you go and take yeah. one of them away, then the Swabjorn cannot play the War of Plants, but he has another option. Sting Vigo. And um, a dead Vigo as well. Yeah, yeah so it looks you're... like this tier is going to be used to bring back the Warlord most likely. Yeah, and most likely a bit later into the game as well, there is a couple of warriors in the graveyard. And you don't really want to set up your tier for enslaves and uh, coups. I think, yeah, 
this is gonna be a bit of a game of chicken on whether Magpie decides to try to like greed and engine value out of the fourth series, decides not to opt into playing chicken, is like, I'm gonna just use this straight away. Fourth series dead in the spirit her is looking a bit less than stellar now for mystical. Simulates are just dying straight away. Yeah, no chance of uh, uh, sticking on the board for longer than one turn. I think it's yeah, it's really important for a simulate to try to get a bit more of an earlier lead here. Because your finishes, I don't think, stand up to the patch title Fury leader into so. And um, it's also still tier to be played. Uh, your Terra Nerve is not looking hot right now. It's really hard. Well... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Feels, uh... Feels like it's getting a game, but... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, um, our obligatory... Terrible, terrible Taurus right now. We'll follow you always! It's what, what what which of these units do you want to replay? Well, I three, guess you three can damage is three damage, okay? If only yeah, but if you replay the Great War, you get three bleeding, which is not even. I guess it has time to trigger. Yeah, but there is time to trigger. Yeah. Okay, you can, if only High, Highland War, uh, Warlord would have buffed the Ace up the sleeve from Stefan's cannon, that would have been nice. Oh, you, that would have been disgusting. Yeah, you play it three, four times and then just deal five damage per Ace. Sounds like a dream. For, for the Neil God. So. Sadly, we cannot petition for things like that anymore. Okay, so you cannot get two bleeding. Not anymore. No. Taurus, I mean, Taurus. I wonder what Q is gonna do here. Quite the menial task. Mm, yeah. So, there, there is your Q target. Yes. I wonder when is this tear gonna come down? Close to the final act. Yes, we'll see the the broker first. So you just discard champs charge here? I mean Wait, why? Ah bah, nah, there is a fourteen. I, Maybe yeah yeah, I understand. Maybe not. But if you don't... Can you even just... Okay, yeah, it goes for that. Okay, this. Wee value! Immortalize. <laughs> Insane, Link. Four power, fourteen provisions, doing things like this. Yeah. Uh, uh why is this allowed? Sneel got sometimes is just so disappointing being having so many options. I mean, in all seriousness, I really am confused by uh like a lot of these plays we're seeing, they just hold on to these Taurus in these long round threes and just have like minimal value from it. Like I don't get why you'd play it before your other assimilate engines and let it basically just play as a runestone. Instead of just replaying for zero points, you actually get to create a whole new unit. Oh yeah. Like your your expectations yeah. might be a bit different of what what would you see on the board. So by the looks of it uh, we have a Bloodthirst 3 developed for the champions charge on a 13. And so, uh, that leads to the tier finisher. Which uh is or can you just think?
Well, you can also play... It. Do you want to? Not really. Yeah, amazing cool value here on the block bar. Bum bum bum. You, you are pretty close, okay? There is a bear hidden in your Arto Terra Nova. You, you, yeah. you have to bear that in mind. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well played, well, well played. I, I wanted, but then I was like, nah, but then when I had to get it out of the system, so. That's how I feel always. For the BM, we might see the Fukusha coming out. Ah. Uh, you don't, give, it would give, you don't give information to your opponent yeah. if, if that's not necessary. Okay, nice uh, carry over from the Warlord here. And yeah, the tier finisher. No, don't discard 22 point units. Tier, what are you doing? So that's... Uh, is, yeah, that's sequencing. Not about to sit like, back and do nothing. Yeah, but, uh... Enough points for Skellige, and Magpie makes it 1-1. One, one. see, Skellige. Let's go. Assimilate. Versus, uh, Gift. And this is Magpie's Gift, so... More of a normal version, if I'm not... Yeah. The, yeah. the one with the Eskel Pathfinder. No trees here. So how does that work out for Nilvgaard? In terms of a matchup against the gift that doesn't really give you... Okay, with Saskia... Then the, uh, Saskia is nice, yeah, that's but you really so can't get a lot of value out of their bronzes because you don't have yeah. nature cards to play, which means you don't get any symbiosis value. Um, you maybe could have done like some fun stuff if you still have like a Lydia. You could have like uh, you know replayed like a Forest Protector or something. You could like recycle a rebuke a bunch of times, but that isn't possible. Um, yeah. So it's probably going to be a game of just trying to get your assimilate values out of range of the rebukes as much as possible um, to ensure you're able to contest the engine value. But there is an Orshwin, yeah. which uh, if that's allowed to stick, just could result in a loss on even for the assimilate here, I think. Yeah, Magpie is not really hiding his uh, good cards. There is a Tempest incoming any moment now. Yeah. So you you, you have a, a really hard. short window to to deal with her. Yeah. And uh, to deal with her, unless you maybe hire a review from diplomacy, it, it has to be a vulgar force, and that feels terrible to have to play that already in the round one. Especially because there's a good chance you'll just like pull out a bronze engine, like a mad fledgling or a hammer dryad. Okay, so there we go, leader committed. Shall be united. And Torres. Uh, Torres actually doesn't show you the cards, but yeah, Eskel and Pawn Keeper and the Fledgling are uh, the targets of his. So yeah, the Eskel is uh, answering a dread. Because yeah. the new god kind of doesn't have access to the Dryad cards. But has access to Eskel, okay? Even if it wasn't I in mean, the deck. I mean, you can get it from Terra Nova, but then the additional copy in deck, you do need to actually have a bit of luck to draw into here, because the Taurus was played after Kalfi. Um, but with the Magnes, maybe you have a better chance of actually finding it. But we will see. So we are thinning the deck a little bit. Probably, I don't think Obsidian Mirrors are that great here. Yeah, but they are at the bottom. Like... 
All right. Oh, yes. It may just get rid of some of the five pro. Yeah. Stuff, if, if, like if you the, want to get the, the new cards. Magni. Yeah. I mean, Magni would help thin anyways. You keep like the. I guess you got what? Get rid of one torturer? Got rid of a Magni and something else? Was there experimental remedy? Uh, yes, remedy. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, remedy so definitely. Then that's isn't great. like a buffer layer. Potentially, the card that also doesn't really get you great value. Tempest thing. Mac is still able to, to keep up here. There's the Vilga Forts. No, Bone Keeper. There, there were only like three bronzes in the deck, so yeah, this uh, nature's gift list is not really heavy on the bronze units, uh, especially if you draw half of them into your hand. I mean, that's probably one of the better pulls. I mean, if you're trying to actually win this round and just get out, because the other two pulls being the Hammer Dryad and the Night Fledgling would have both been kind of scary engines as this round wears on. We get another one of those developed. Uh, the focus uh, working would take uh, almost a full round, of course, to get the full value. But you're happy with thinning and the three ends that you spawned. And the Aspire points out Neil God actually gets to play his uh, It's Cool and uh, Dutch informant that would have been playing for like copy on the Wandering Triant otherwise. Of course, uh, you could have copied the fledgling, but you have no access to nature cards, vitalities, and all that. So, what is mystical? Consider uh, actually decides that the point gap is wide enough. This is up hard to, to do it one. Yeah, it is hard, but at the same time, okay, it's kind of yeah, it's two yeah. definitely is doable here. Just with a rebuke. Uh, I, I, yeah. Or would you rather commit the bronze unit rather than the rebuke here? Maybe I yeah, just yeah. throw, throw away is better the units uh, and be done with that. So yeah, of course, make buy an extra card. But most of the stuff is uh, reserved. He decided to like throw Oakwen into the into the fight. Got a leader charge. Oh, the leader out of uh, Mystical. At the same time, yeah, it costs him Oakwen and uh, and a card. So, still two Q charges remaining. I imagine you just want to try and use Q on the Simless. I wonder if you might mulligan the Simless here to try to play it with the Call of the Forest and use a leader to get it out of range of the Q. Because um, otherwise... Like, crew can just be used on Simless into double diplomacy, and uh, that's kind of scary. Ooh, let's go. I always love to see that. It doesn't so matter scary. how many cards down you are. Just more. If you feel dominant, just dominate. Wise words. Actually, oh, there's no hack and pass anyway, so yeah, you can just buff the Simless with that regardless. There's other options. Yeah, there's, uh, Very tall there, sass game. Yeah, the uh, Will Force is strong, so it's more 12 finish. So... Yeah. Okay, that's, uh, that's a slow play, that's why we are pushing, kinda. If the hand is uh, not fully mulliganed. Also, we know that there's no emissary in this list, so Brathens can only play an informant, and uh, yeah, these informant targets are not looking so hot. I mean, 
playing the Eskal though would open up a crew to save and get a kill onto the Saskia, which is why you just go for the pass here. Uh, High good tempo pass. There is an Otor though. Out. Yeah. Okay. And happy with that? yeah, having that Askel in deck in round one, devastating. Sort of devastating. Yeah. So you also get a few of the assimilate engines out, which means it'll be easier for you to answer them with your rebukes. Pretty good draws here, I'd say. Getting the Mahakam pass for the square tail does now have huge protects the assimilus. Um, so I'm a dryad nice. into the dryad's crest is quite nice. Again, no toll punish remaining unless this Eskul is actually drawn. I did forget about the Terranova pulling the Eskul a little uh, last round. But yeah, no Eskul. No. In oh, there is Kurat. Yes. So yeah, knew yeah, you can rely on, on that finisher. Cannot really protect Eskel uh, anyhow from being cooed. Quite a nice giant slayer here. Mm. It sets up some carryover for winner takes all six. <laughs> okay, so we are not even getting over parts into like round four anymore. Just next year. <laughs> next year is where I'm using that. So there's Magpie. <laughs> That's a choice. I although if uh, CDPR allows him to use that giant slayer in masters, I think he'll take that as an option. Oh yeah, you can negotiate, I suppose. Uh, so how is giant slayer looking as a copy for Brat and Sent Informant? Not too hot. Well, hot since you don't have any units yeah. with a higher. Power. Like, it will be decent once the Forest Protector comes down, but until then, it's, uh, yeah, not hot. Might see the, uh, Force Siri coming down about now, I'd say. I, I think it needs to basically come down, like, this turn or next turn, with the Boo Hurt to have a chance to come back. It should be a pretty safe play, there's no way for Magpie to sort of damage down or kill off the Force Siri on his side of the board. Um, do we see? Yeah, we see the blue forge. I think you boost the bigger unit there just to give less potential rebuke value on a death blow. Um, the nice thing also is that both of these are dried, so the Eskul isn't able to get a kill on either of them. Yeah. So, th th there will be a target for Eskul, but uh, not right now. So we buff in, uh, although the leftmost card <laughs> takes the sorceress. Takes the sorceress and misses. Uh... And the boost. Okay. That's some nice little RNG for Magpie. Yeah, that can't be answered here. Even if you put all the Stephons into the sorceress, yeah. okay, it'll go to one power. But then it can just be set up with the Dryad's Caress next turn. So you just kill this um, Hammer Dryad. And, uh, and one thing, yeah. You would have been a target <laughs> if I could have done anything about you. Um, so, Seamless is of course open for the Torture, so not the greatest idea. Duke is solid here. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you have enough specials. All of Insight yeah. is... 8. Uh, which still would have been as much as, like, a uh, Rebuke. But, I mean, Rebuke does kill one of the possible death blows. So you don't really want to use it off. So, yeah, no, is... no Dryads remaining. Means that there is no Vitality coming from the Caress. Uh, but uh, there is a Resilience now. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. Nice copy, but uh, there is a rebuke. 
So, no value is being generated by the Nilfgaardian sorceress. But where, where to, there is one, there is another. And Eskel once again only has uh, Bratton, so alternatively, free, he really hates Skellen. He can go by there. Using, by using the Mahakam uh, pass on the sorceress, it does mean the Simless is. Uh, Sorry, it's not vulnerable to a crew because you can just bring Equinox it. Yeah, it's all good. So yeah, there's the air score coming down. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. Okay, so the, the tree gets something to play with. Yeah. Uh, those are not natures. And you yeah. don't have any more natures in the graveyard, so if you if you really want to cool that, uh, of course there is an Eskel, but what's your biggest target? Eleven points. Yeah. Yeah, like the whatever Simless gets at the Spring Equinox, you should be getting a better crew de grass on the Eskel here. Yeah. So uh. I think Square should have the slight edge. Let's see. And there is the orb hidden. So Esther is full base power, that's 7, 18. And what I want to simulate, Rock, that's. Uh, that's Gift's game. I mean, and without the sorceress, that might have gone a little differently. Yeah. What was there on the left? Trap maker? Uh, yeah, what I got. And an uh, elven seer scribe. The four provision go to ten if you've played three specials. Mm. Ah, oh, Neil, who wanted that? Neil got to simulate mirror. There we go. That's why we buffed some of the cards, like Bratton and Tartorius, apparently. This is, this is gonna be old school shenanigans. So many spies flying around, board clogging. I, uh. Yeah. I'm just gonna turn my brain off for this one. There's I also Pulse City Taurus interaction, so maybe finally. Oh, no. Something can be done with the Taurus, but le yeah, let's just m maybe we just can watch it silently without commentary because this is the pure I art. Usually, yeah. Perfect start to the mirror. Last man on his boat sleeps on an empty stomach. <coughs> There is a Obsidian Mirror, so having two Imperial Marines is nice, but having Nilfgaard as your opponent is uh, not nice. <laughs> um, okay, so one Marine, two Marine. We actually very very good obsidian mirror. Yeah, uh, insane value. So uh, there is no cool. Would have been like an okay way to nice stop an engine. Oh, <laughs> that mental would have been juicy. Yeah. That is for just the pikemen. I mean, yeah, like, if, since you don't have, like, an informant yourself, playing the mentor could kind of set you up just to play into Mystical's informants, um, which wouldn't be great. So, yeah, Ops just for the more consistent engine. And okay, for the act number two, we have Arturus Vigo flying out already. 
looks like Mystical right now is looking to sail smoothly to win on even. Hmm. Courtesy of the Marines. I, I like how flanking is here, yeah, just being <laughs> pocketed everywhere. What a nice, a ni nice picture to have. Okay, so you give me Artorius, I give you a Bratens. This is like poetry, you know, High, highest form of art. Ah, <laughs> uh, so so enjoyable. Cards go better. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares about the Mona Lisa? Who cares about the Last Supper? Yeah. This is true art right here. Okay, we have a marked uh, Bratens, of course. Uh, both players have the torturer in hand. So you can you can do some carry over already, but it's not like you you will struggle for a target too much. Even if even if you try to make it awkward for your opponent, uh, usually it kind of works out. I think yeah, yeah. This does force the pass out because a coup onto the Brathens is so many points. Which uh, none of the bronzes in Magpie's hand would make up, and I don't think you're ever committing the Taurus or the stuff on here. So, uh, yeah, there's the pass. And, uh, well, I mean, ointment is kind of good here, even just to get an extra double trick on this marine. Yeah, so. Doesn't have to commit anything, but yeah. Takes it easily. Also, nice to see Nil Guardian mirrors without the random, or well, not even random, Wilgi forces. Just thinning yeah. the top card out, even if it's, uh, well, still a fiesta. At least it's more more of an organized fiesta nowadays. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit more like skill that determines rather than like just, oh, did you draw Virgo Forts round one or not? But uh, yeah, with Kobe's played, both players can basically get all the boards that they like. And they might ten more. round new guard mirror. I'm ready. Uh. I need not spill. Okay. This is what we are getting in instead of a V gameplay. This is. Yeah, you can play like you can. We can flip uh, players' cards now and play a game of uh, match two. Just find the same <laughs> cards. You, you you click one, I click one, and we have to find double Taurus, double Arthur, <laughs> and every time we guess correctly, the cards just evaporate from players' hands. But like, <laughs> oh uh, no. Nah. Although we got a Bratton straight for Artorius. Yeah. There. So I hope you are enjoying it, chat. Ah, uh, that's uh, that's a card that synergizes with a couple of your other cards. Helps to always have a slot to play your spies and not get overclocked, which is quite nice. Yeah. There is no joust, and well, a, a bit too early for Stefanko. And is there an answer? <sighs> Thanks for the follow, Edo. So it's a terrible illusionist is great. Yeah, so I mean, illusion is making an appearance, two units getting on to the board. Yeah. That's uh, the downside. It does take up a decent amount of space. Yeah, two slots in one unit is quite meaningful because now with spies starting to go flying. Uh, yeah, we yeah. also see the the buff on the Imperial Marine. That's a good point. Wait. Yeah, the wrong one. So there was a bunch of 5P cards to choose yeah. from. 
otherwise it would have been dead to a scorpion ping. That's an early Arturius uh, from Magpie, of course. Uh, mm, let's see. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, able to free up your own space. And the informant uh, is gone. Okay, spicy. That's... That's... A play brought to you by uh, what? Diplo? Was it? Yeah. Uh, Diplo. That created the fire scorpion. So nice. Uh, in the fights, uh, usually you got fights over Hefty Helga, if we are talking about like 2020. But uh, yeah, fire uh, scorpions also. Fun. Port products. Quite fitting. Like these fire scorpions are just stinging the own like their own side of the board. Like uh, I'm sure you know, like the parable of like the frog and the scorpion, right? The frog is the assimilate engines here, which are trying to cross the river on the fire scorpions back. But once they get to the other side, it just stings all the informants to death. So that it can get more simulate engines to start crossing the river as well. Okay, so this whole city is getting picked up. Because we couldn't uh, really have only, yeah, sc scorpions being bounced uh, back and forth. We can also do that with the golds. Uh, that looks like a rope. Oh no, wait. He managed to click the... Yeah, so that was just a delay okay, then. Okay. Mystical managed to... Yeah. Because, yeah, if you got the wrong rope there, that would be, uh... Yeah, very, very bad. Because you'll miss time, like, both your marines, you'll just cancel all the value they would have gotten. They'll just cancel each other out. So, for Mm. So if, if you are doing that, I'm doing that as well. There we go. False city being picked up. Is it not better to play the doomed one? Uh, but that's just me not not playing uh, Neil God for like three four months. I'm not sure. Hey, what do you mean the doomed one? Uh, well, the mystical picked up the full city, it gets doomed, so it cannot be picked up by enemies uh, uh, right. or Taurus anymore. But yeah, they're just sitting on them for the later now. Yeah. Yes, but that yeah, was I'm, I'm not really well versed in the assimilates and the faction has been kinda playing without full city for a little while, so I've forgotten how it goes. Oh, you just went to, um, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you'll always be able to play more fire scorpions here because uh, there's so many informants flying around. My loyalty is to a dual coin, not to the face. That is all I need. Okay, so full city time, and now we are blocking the flanking, not for a long time, but for some time still. And the fire scorpion and fire scorpion action. The big one, 13 power, once a bully in the small one. Very rude. <laughs> and finally, we also see that this uh, fire scorpion by, on fire scorpion violence is not being tolerated by the Vilge ports. No units left in deck, so nothing falls out. Kind of sad for Magpie. I mean, it's more space, so. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's gonna uh, uh, ain't we already at this uh, point of time where you don't really need more space? I mean... There is seven slots on the back row. Between Terra Nova and Torres, you get like... Maybe. 
Okay. So many units. Uh, maybe there is enough space right now. You have not a fire sure. I'm, I'm just well. not sure yeah. both of them have enough uh, gotcha. spice to put on the opponent's side of the board. Wait, 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 wait. Is there not spying on like a Vigo or Brothens or something here? Sorry? Turnover only playing the Fire Scorpion. Yeah. For... Oh. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, then it's definitely not filling up the rows. We aren't clogging. Cool to see a Fire Scorpion. Yeah, Fire Scorpion. Just making the matchup uh, a little bit different from how it usually goes. A lot more bearable, honestly. Ah? Uh, what about mm. uh, the Enforcer? Whenever you know a unit, unit gets spine, well, that's hey, not really it. impressive. Sends in for Venendal Elite, of course, not a card you see too often. Sends out information about the uh, hand quality. Like I mean, you, look, you should know that like the three golds are there. Yeah. It is kind of meaningful, though, to know that the fourth card is a tactic and not like a Magni or a Mage yeah. Torturer. Okay, chat, so who has it? Do the, the, the quick Neil Garden math. Who has it now? You see the hands, you see that there is a Taurus. You have it? Okay. <laughs> okay. One day, no order again. Not full series and coming back, right? What do you need me to do? Uh, can you do anything to make it come back? Not really, with the fire scorpions uh, and just pinging her down if you if you don't flip it immediately. Some charges might be just uh, allocated to that. Good lead here for Magpie. Um, but probably slightly better hand quality here for Mystical. So, the points. The points, what do they mean? My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. There we go. No fire scorpions allowed <laughs> in one of the sides. Uh, this is unacceptable. And yeah, this false city is doing false city things. Uh, being a seven by the end but yeah nice. it, do, it doesn't it's matter up. like it, even if it was timed properly there there was a uh, one two shots available from the fire scorpion to offset it and we see a forfeit and that's a signature mystical move at times just put it in a bit earlier but we also seen magpie do that so not wasting time after seeing how the board state develops so magpie gonna take on denerai in the final of this metal so winner takes all five well played